Hey, it's 4th of July time. Trying to break out the grill. Get it hot while we're going to put on it. Whoo, I'm talking about a foot long of goodness and cheesy with a special sauce. Come on, I'll get the coals hot and we'll throw it on there together. Hey, thank y'all so much for stopping by the backyard. Ooh, it is a glorious evening, it is. But folks, something been laying heavy on my mind, it has. Heavy. I done told y'all a lie. The title of this video was what? The Ultimate Foot Long. Well, I'm lying to you. It is a foot and a half long. What? I'm talking a foot and a half long of meat, cheese, bread, special sauce, smoke, and goodness. I'm thinking all of it is good. And folks, Let's think about it a little. Now, put your hand to your chin right here and let's study and commiserate on the life of the hot dog. It's short-lived. Yes, it is. Short-lived. <laughs> the good answer, Shan, it is. But folks, do you know over the 4th of July period that there is over 150 million hot dogs consumed in the USA? That's would stretch from the west coast to the east coast. And yes, I am right, Shan. This is west and that is east because the sun's right over yonder. Five times lining them hot dogs up end to end. Folks, that's a lot of hot dogs. So let's give him a break, okay? <laughs> let's, let's go with something else. Now, you can use a hot dog for this, but I would advise against it. We're talking about smoking some good old hot links, I mean, that are really good and tasty and some kielbasa sausage. Whew, it is gonna be so good with that special sauce on it. So stick around folks, you don't wanna miss this one. Now folks, if you've seen the poor boy sandwich video and ooh, wasn't it good, I do love them crispy shrimp. I do, you, you ain't seen it. Well, you need to go back and search it cause I guarantee you it's some fine dining, it is. But the Ariat people who dress me up looking sharp with shirts and boots, they were kind enough to give us some boots to give away. All you had to do was enter and guess what? We're going to announce the winner right now. We are. Who is it? Congratulations to you. And I hope them boots make your feet happy and you do the happy dance all day long. But I want to thank Ariat too because they always do such a great job. And guess what? They be having some sales still going on. You just need to check it out. There will be a link down there where you can see what I'm wearing. You can dress like me. Everything is great above the grass. I've got me some hot links here and some kibbalsa, skinless, because when you cook that stuff just right, a lot of times that skin get a little tough and a little too crispy. But we got that grill cleaned, heated, really going well. Threw me a poblano on there and smoked it, blistered it off. So easy to peel it will, because we're going to need it later. So we got it sitting right over there side. But folks, I need you to just take these and cut them straight in half. They're going to lay on the grill better and we're going to need them that way for our ultimate foot and a half long. So let me get them sliced up here. You can see quality control is under the table, making sure that things are going to his specifications. That means he wishes his dad was clumsy and would drop something on the ground. Well, folks, I have got me some hardwood lump oak in there. Got it going just right, I did. Then you see me throw some mesquite in there and a little bit of hickory. Cause when we slice them in half, I want to get more penetration of smoke in there. And I've got all the coals raked to one end. We're going to start out over here on the indirect side. Let this get some good color. Let it heat up while get some of that smoke in there and then we'll turn them over. Well, we got our meat laid back on there. Remember that poblano that we blistered? Now folks, even though we got it skinned and got it blistered, I like to put it back over here on this indirect side to let that smoke get to it, even give it more flavor than what it's got. So let me fetch it. So looky there. It has shucked them clothes it was wearing and it is ready to go over here and participate with the rest of the people. So I'm just gonna lay him right here beside this. All the fires on that end. We're gonna choke her down just a tad since we got us a flame in there. Give it a little in this and here a little bitty one is open. I got one little bitty and open on that side. We're gonna let that smoke come around it and love on it. And we're probably gonna let it go about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna turn it over, let it smoke a little. Then we'll put it down here on the hot side of the fire. What's going on here? Excuse me, what is going on? There is no meat up here, huh? Oh, you're just making sure, all right. 
Then we're going to get us some good color and some crispness on that hot link and that smoked sausage. Mm. Then we're going to bring out the ultimate foot and a half long piece of bread. Well, about 10 minutes in, folks, I flipped them to the other side and you can see. So let's move them down here to the hot end of this rascal. Turn them over, flesh side down, because I just want to get a little crispness there. And it won't take long. The poblano has served his purpose. He needs to come over here and rest. About five minutes right here, and they'll have enough crisp to them that we can slide them back over and let them sit, and we'll go to working on that bread. Well, time to check. It has been about five. And you can see, looky there, that's what I'm after. A little char, char, a little char and a little crispness. You could put these down here on the other end, but folks, I'm gonna need that room in a minute, so I'm gonna put them in this Dutch oven that I got sitting right here handy and let it keep them warm. That way I won't have to worry about nobody getting no browner than it already is, and it'll just sit there and mind its own business. So I see you eyeballing it big, I do. Well, got them in there just resting, minding their own business we do. Stick of that what? Kerry gold butter. Yeah, Shan has converted me. That's all I put on anything anymore. So to that one stick of melted Kerry gold butter, I want you to add some smoked paprika and some garlic powder. I'm gonna do a little artisan work today, so make sure you got your paintbrush and get it stirred up well. And we're gonna let it sit there and mind its own business and let some of them flavors just incorporate. Our good little poblano here that did all the work over by itself, I just want you to go ahead and just core that thing out of there. Take your knife, just rake them seeds over to one side. Go ahead and split it all the way down. Make sure you get all them seeds out. And then I just want you to take it and just cut it in strips. Because, folks, we got to have this poblano in there. It's going to bring so much more flavor. Just stack him over here sort of out of the way for a minute. And let's talk about this bread. It is not a foot long, Shan. No. It is 18.2 inches long. And, folks, we need it all for the amount of meat that we have there. So, bread knife. With your knife skills, try to just go right down dead center. Big, will you take care of that trash for me that just blew off there, buddy? And then just gently open it up, gently. Lay it right out there like that. I need you to take the butter, stir it up really well. And if you find that your butter has got a little cool and coagulated a little, Either stick it back in the microwave or over the fire. And I just want you to put some all over it. Are you generously coating? I'm generously coating, Shin. Most generously. Because, folks, we need this for the flavor, but we got to have it for a little toasting action. Well, we got our buttered our bread we have, as you've seen. So let's go to the grill. I'm gonna layer right there, folks. And at this time, bread really wants to stick to something that's hot. So give it one more greasing all the way around. We got our fire cranked down pretty low to the bottom there because I don't want to burn this. I just want it to get good and hot. We can even leave it open. You can, but I'm not because I want to trap some of that smoky goodness even in that bread. So we're going to let it toast there just a minute. Provolone be the first one. Just layer out there. I like to slice this a little in advance. That way you can sort of get it on there before everything goes to running crazy on you. Next come the cheddar. Lay them on there any way you want to. Just make sure that everybody's got some of it on it. Big, since you're the only one out here working, can you catch that? Well, you got close. You give up your baseball career just to go into cooking, didn't you? So, here we go. Back up here. Back on the fire, guess what it needs? A little butter, it does. Give it a little bit of that flavor. Let that garlic and that smoked paprika get in there. Roll it over and don't burn your fingers. And it don't take long for this process to happen. Well, 
You see me, we done whipped up some special sauce. We did, folks. Mayonnaise, mustard, a little bit of that ketchup. Get your onion, blend it all in there together. Set it up in that ice box and just let it get all them flavors blended well. Because we got to have it. What? Hot dogs got mustard, mayonnaise, and ketchup on them and onions. So, hey, this is going to be a great deal. So, we're going to need this salve to put on that other side. So, join me over here and let's get her layered on there. Well, folks, I'm going to tell you right now before you go any further, have one of these apparatuses with you because you're going to need it for all the goodness that is in this sandwich. And cheese, cheese, a layer of the sauce, hot link, smoked sausage, toasted bun. It don't get no better than this, so I think I'm going to have a bite. I hear the crunch. Mm. Well, folks, there is a lot of goodness right there. There is, and that sauce time you let it sit in there and marry all together with them onions and all that flavor, mm, it is good. Star of the show, the crunch of the bread, the cheese, and to me, the hot link and the poblano. There's a lot of stars win Academy Awards, they will, on this deal because it is that good. And you can slice this any way you want. It's going to come out to feed a bunch of people. So really, it's cheaper than going to the store and buying 150,000 hot dogs and buns when you can probably feed eight or nine people out of this deal. And you know that hot dog eating contest they have and eat all them hot dogs in so many minutes? I'd like to see how many of these they could eat in 15 minutes. Know what I mean? I would like to see it. But folks, this is very easy to do. It just takes a little time. Ooh, and it is so tasty and you can share it with your friends and neighbors. Well, like I said, invite your neighbors over. This is coming out maybe for the 4th of July. You can grill it all up. Hey, it is a great time to be together in the backyard. Maybe you're cooking at the lake. This is an easy recipe. You just need a little help to assemble it all and get it to go in. It's going to come out easier. Now, folks, we're talking about 4th of July, Independence Day. Now, to me, I am a very patriotic person. I am. And that flag that me and Shan are always talking to y'all about, that our veterans and all our servicemen and women have fought for, died for, and protect us all the time for it, that we have the liberty and the freedom to stand there before it and salute that flag or say the Pledge of the Allegiance. Hey, there's a lot of great songs that go with that old flag. Lee Greenwood sings a great one. Johnny Cash sings a song about this old flag, a grand old flag. So, hey, whatever you're doing, I need you to stop. Just pay a little tribute. Find you one of them flagpoles. Look up in the air. See old glory flowing right there in the breeze. Smooth, it's easy. And think about it. It's a great country we live in. And we have a lot of freedom. Let's just do the right thing. Be happy, be safe. God bless you each and every one. And guess what? We'll see you down the ultimate foot and a half long trail. This is a point. Okay. Now you can't see it for this, can you? I have to rewind.